Antifa has been causing violent riots across America, so Congress is taking action to shut them down for good. Oh, you can hear the liberals shriek. Their favorite group of attack dogs is feeling the burn. After a short respite, the thugs know as Antifa are back again. These mostly millennial losers don masks to harass, attack, and disrupt lawful and peaceful events. Some, in the past, have even acquired weapons and firearms to disrupt conservative speakers. Clearly these anti-fascists are everything they claim to oppose. Truth, justice, and free speech don't matter to them. They are merely puppets for the left to silence the majority of Americans. Now Congress is about to put the pain to Antifa. And wouldn't you know, the liberals' whims online are terrified. From Huffington Post, the legislation would punish anyone who injures, oppresses, threatens, or intimidates any person engaged in a legally protected right or privilege while wearing a mask with up to 15 years in prison. People should not go to prison for attending protests. That is why there is an amendment to the Constitution protecting the right to free assembly, and 15 years is an extraordinary sentence for behavior, no matter how threatening. Convicted murderers often aren't incarcerated that long. The bill was introduced by Rep. Dan Donovan, R.N. Why? A former prosecutor best known for helping Eric Garner's killer stay out of prison. The hack writer at HuffPo whines, people should not go to prison for attending protests. Clearly, he ignores the fact that this law is targeting masked figures who attack people. There is a big difference. Carter, the First Amendment protects people who peacefully assemble not goons in masks who want to plunge the United States into chaos. Antifa is merely a front. The real villains are the scumbags in the mainstream media and online who normalize violence against conservatives. Liberals accuse us of hate, claiming we are the violent ones, yet time and again we see deranged liberals attack children for wearing Trump hates, assault cops on the street, and harass members of Trump's cabinet. In fact, it was Democrat Maxine Waters who called on liberals to push back at conservatives. I guess HuffPo forgot about that. How many times has Trump ordered people to get violent? Let me check. Oh never. Yet the liberal media endorse and celebrate the diverse group of terrorists and anarchists who hide their faces to oppress Americans. Antifa is a group of reprobates. They deserve the punishment they get. Democrats love protecting people's rights, when it's convenient for them. When an Antifa member attacks a person, they are exercising their rights. But when a Trump supporter goes to a restaurant, he doesn't deserve to even be served. Double standard much? Fifteen years is too light a sentence. 